Deal two cards from a well-shuffled deck. Let the random variable x be the number of aces dealt, and let the random variable y be the number of face cards dealt. Find f of xy and calculate the probability that the hand will contain more aces than face cards. First of all, you want to determine whether x and y are discrete or continuous random variables and in this particular case because it is the number of aces and the number of face cards they are discrete random variables. Here's a graph of x and y. What are the possible values for x and y? Well x, the number of aces in the two cards can be 0, 1, or 2 and y, the number of face cards, could potentially be 0, 1, or 2. But it's not simply a matter of putting those values in because there are some restrictions. For example, we could not get two aces and two face cards. That's impossible. So as you're putting the points in here for the support, these are the possible values along the axes and then just one possibility off the axes that is one ace and one face card for example the ace of diamonds and the king of clubs but that's it those are the six support values for the discrete random variables x and y so when we're going to write down the joint probability mass function somewhere way off to the right here we're going to have to put this support down and one way to write that is x equals 0, 1, and 2, y equals 0, 1, and 2, but that wouldn't be right because that would be this square region here. That'd be 9, not these 6, so we can throw in the constraint x plus y is less than or equal to 2. That's one way to write the support, but now the hard part is to determine the probability mass function. There is no indication here that the order in which the cards are dealt is important, so there will be 52, choose two different deals possible. Now in those 52 choose two different deals, we want to know out of the four aces choose x and out of the 12 face cards choose y but there are more than just aces and face cards there's also everybody else which is going to be of course 2 through 10 and the number of those cards is going to be 36, 9 times 4, and we choose here 2 minus x minus y. That function right there is the joint probability mass function of x and y. Now the second thing we want to do after we find f of y is we also want to calculate the probability that the, the hand will contain more aces than face cards. That is to say, we want the probability x, which is the number of aces, is greater than the number of face cards. Now, by the way, this is equivalent to the event capital A, which we saw more generally on the previous slides. Where in this picture is it true that we have more aces than face cards It is these two values right here. So this probability will be f of 1, 0, right? That is this point, which is 1 ace and no face cards, plus f of 2, 0. And this quantity right here is associated with two aces and no face cards. All we have to do at this point is to get f of 1, 0 is plug right up into this this expression here and you know we'll have 4 choose 1, 12 choose 0, 36 choose 1, 
divided by 52 choose 2 and the same type of thing for f of 2 0 when you plug into those that formula and put it in lowest terms this will be 25 divided by 221 as an exact fraction and to four digits this is approximately 0.1 one three one so the probability you will have more aces than face cards is a fairly rare event happens about 11 percent of the time when you deal two cards from a well-shuffled deck